Um, if that performance was a Uber driver, I'm rating it five stars. It was five nil. It was goals, and they weren't all Cole Palmer, which is nice. And that feels good to say. I actually feel like that was that's more important to me, and more sort of uh, that was. A, I just think I needed that more than maybe I, I uh, thought before it happened. But you know, Jackson got two. Jackson is. Jackson's got a scary amount of goals considering how many chances he's missed and how sometimes just straight up awful he's been. Um, I don't think we need to be acting like he is Drogba, which I, a lot of people love to do. With every goal he scores, I, I see his name mentioned with Drogba. I, I feel like that's not even necessary. And that's not like me um, discrediting him or thinking he could never be that good, even though that those heights seem so heady. Of course, he could be that good. My More my, more my point is, I don't think it benefits anyone constantly comparing his goal tally to to Drogba. I think he has, as simple as, it's got a lot of goals considering he's missed a lot of chances. And it was nice, actually. This feels like the first time, and it's only a game, but um, where we've had a turning point kind of performance across the season and actually continue to form that reflects that. So many times we've had these great performances against like a top six side, um, which we are you know, traditionally meant to be one of as well. That's not start thinking about ourselves like we're just a mid-table team now um but you know against the top six side and then go into having go into your next game and like draw it or lose it and it's like bad opposition like have a great game against city or tottenham or arsenal whoever um and then immediately go into your next couple of games and just sort of not bring any of that this kind of felt like no we had that good performance against tottenham who did also get smacked uh, today 4-2 to liverpool but we did have that good performance against tottenham and then we actually carried some of that and we smacked west ham who have been smacked multiple times their fans have left the stadium multiple times early because they've been getting smacked multiple times i mean those five nil down to arsenal at home and, uh, and at their top of the league you know they're, they're, i was looking at their results i don't think they've won the last five so there is that sure but west ham are, i think traditionally quite a bogey team it's a london derby and um They've done the double over us a, like a decent amount of times, I feel like, in recent times. Uh, I was checking, like, sort of our history with them in, the, like, our last six games. And it's like, we did a, co a couple wins in there, but so did they. There was quite a few draws, and I just felt like it was a bit of a bogey team. So it was nice to just sort of make it a walk in the park, make it an easy an easy 5-0. Cole Palmer, as I said, balling out. Um, it was nice to see some people get off the bench as well. Gusto coming back from injury and Konku back. Um, Sterling, no, Sterling didn't come on. I know I'm sort of the only person in that sort of Sterling corner still flying that flag, but look, um, what can I say? I like Sterling. Um, but no, he didn't come on. Uh, he's probably going to go in the summer. I kind of have to accept that, I understand. Um, as much as I would like that not to be the case, just out of sheer bias uh, for a, um, you know, maybe on. Uh, maybe, you know, no reason for love for, but, you know, whatever. Um, that's fine because team first, performance first. Even though I will say he has still got the most goal involvement out of our winners. Obviously, I'm calling Cole Palmer. That's sort of, you know, goes without saying. But, you know, I have Madrick and Madweki, who I do both indeed love as well. Uh, Madweki was good and has been good in recent times. Madrick wasn't... Madrick, here's the thing. Madrick isn't bad and he hasn't been bad. But I just feel like he really hasn't grabbed this opportunity. Like, this sort of no challenge in the first team show us something to like when everyone comes back from injury that that is definitely your place i feel like he hasn't done that really i think he hasn't really been embarrassing or shockingly bad but i mean he should have scored today i feel like for on goal or at least maybe try to set someone else up and um he has nice moments but these nice moments are sort of almost scoring or like taking on a guy but then putting in a bad cross or stuff like that he just needs to be refined a little bit I was talking to someone today that was talking about a loan move, which feels crazy, getting someone in for like 70 million and sending, sending them out on loan. Um, that would feel crazy. But hey, if it gets the right end result, I'm, I'm down for anything. And, uh, you know, top six is on the cards. It's possible. Um, is, that, is top six more important to me than Arsenal not winning the league? No, genuinely, I'd rather Arsenal not, not win the league. But... Top six, it's weird. It feels like we're, maybe it's a good feeling that we're coming into some kind of form, which is weird because that would be the first time we really came into any kind of form this whole season and it's at the last like three games. And it's like no momentum is from that. It's going to be carried into next season. Next season will be its own thing. But I think it's pretty simple. I reckon if Poch doesn't get European football, he goes. And if he does, he stays. Um, and to be honest, I'm trying to just be level-headed about there's no real options. Aside from crawling back to managers we've already had, which just feels that doesn't really make sense, especially if it's under the ownership that got rid of them. Um, or risking it on with another young manager from like another league who 
Let's be honest, most of us fans don't really know much about. I feel like there's, look, if there's not much out there, I do believe Poch can improve us, not past probably being a, a top four side, just sort of finishing fourth consistently. I don't think it will take us to challenge City or, or whoever's at the top, Liverpool, Arsenal, whoever it may be. Um, but I think he can do enough to get us higher than where we've been this season. I like to think that I'm trying to be positive again. I'm trying to come out of my rage I had when I still felt, you know, for that cup final against Liverpool. But um, yeah, decent stuff. Decent result. Next game, Nottingham Forest away. I think we've got another game away that I don't remember. Then we got Bournemouth at home to round it out. Great performance, great atmosphere. And that's all. Thanks.